Hi there guys in the forum, welcome back to the channel of HFV, a belter of a game on the screen today. It's going to be as promised the rematch of my last episode. So you probably guessed it already, it's going to be Europa League Group H. My favorite club, Ferenc Varos, reigning champions of Hungary, are facing the reigning champions of Serbia, Crvena Zvezda, also known as Red Star Belgrade. The last video, I want to say a massive thank you to you first of all. It exceeded 90,000 views. That's uh, That means that it's the second most popular video on the channel. It got pretty popular in Serbia because uh, Zvezda won on that day, but it's still an incredible support and it's so important to, to get so many more people on the channel when we are fighting for 10,000 subs. If you have not seen the video yet, first link below in the description box and I'll give you the second link as well, which is a Serbian news portal. It was an article about the previous video and I want to say a big thank you to that Serbian journalist who was hitting me up with this and was asking me some questions. If you want to watch the previous episode without knowing the score of the game, just mute the video now and I'm going to tell the result in 3, 2, 1. So it was a massive victory for Tsvena Zvezda. It was a 4-1 victory, including some beautiful goals. Let's see the most beautiful hit of the game. But there for goal, we were all shocked. So that made it 4 0 for Zvezda. They were clearly dominating the game. And I did not mention the group table before of this group age. And as you see, it's a pretty close race. So Ferenc Varos still on top with uh, six points, but that's only because of the head to head uh, match against Monaco. And Zvezda are still on the fourth place, but they have three points. My club has six points, so basically this match day, Monaco facing Trabzonspor and Ferenc Varos, my club facing Srena Zvezda at home, it will decide quite many things. Before we go to the stadium of Ferenc Varos, which is Grupama Arena, you can see some more details on the screen. Let's mention the European international titles of both clubs. Ferenc Varos have an Intercities First Cup title from 1965, that's kind of a predecessor of the Europa League. And Red Star Belgrade slash Serena Zvezda, massive. They have the predecessor of the Champions League, the European Cup. They won it in 1991. And also in the previous video, I was listing the titles on the bottom of the screen. And I got some comments from Zvezda fans that I did not mention the Intercontinental Cup. So yeah, after they won the European Cup in 1991, they also won the Intercontinental Cup, which is, uh, I'd say, the predecessor of the Club World Cup because uh, the European Cup Champions League predecessor winners were facing the Copa Libertadores winners, which were Colo Colo from Chile back then. So basically the two most popular uh, continental and, and like most valuable continental championship with club championship winners were facing each other and Zvezda won that game 3-0. So with that, they have two international titles. Now, with this being mentioned as well, let's go to this cracking game. Can't wait. Come on, Ferenc Varos, obviously. <laughs> Guys, we have some ridiculous problems here at entering. <laughs> it's tear gas was just sprayed in the air. It's ridiculous. I don't even understand. So we're inside after this tear gas attack by the by the cause it was kind of provoked by the ultras. But it's crazy, I mean I almost fainted. Yeah, let's go inside. We have two very special guests for today. I'm gonna ask the first one, where are you from? I'm from Sweden, Stockholm. Which club do you support? Aiko. And what's your contact to Ferenc Varos? You. Yeah, pretty, pretty reasonable answer. What's your score prediction for today? 2-1 uh, Ferenc Varos. All right, and uh, where are you from? I'm from Vegas. Your favorite club? Ferenc Varos. Yeah, this was kind of a dad joke because he's my little brother, obviously, so... What do you think about today's game? Um, two teams for France. It's gonna be exciting. What did you think about the 4-1 game? Um, 
Yeah, it's sad, but I think we can do it as well. I think we weren't that much behind Svezda on that day, but they, they were like, they got luck and they were really great as well, obviously, but we were like one or maximum two goals behind. What did you think about the 4-1 game? Did you see some recap of it? I saw your vlog. That's a great point that obviously you should do. First link in the description. Yeah. Yeah, right. so what do you think about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, from the vlog, you could really see that Svezda weren't dominating that much, but yeah, like, can, can like you obviously thought that we can bounce back because you said we're gonna win 2-1. We'll be really happy, obviously. So, um, yeah, yeah, I thought uh, you had more chances on the sort of more goals than I uh, And it was a great atmosphere and a uh, great to watch.
each other on the pitch there is no big difference between them play wise we got a goal in the 24th minute middle of the first half but we should have got another one I think to, to make them think a bit harder and they were also 2-0 up at halftime in the game last week they were mostly middle third place uh, our defense is much better than it was away so Zezo can't really work out their their chances in their in their own uh, style of play that's a really positive thing, uh, also to our coach, that he got the defensive shape back on the page for this home game. Most of the chances were not finished with shots on target. The atmosphere is, is fantastic. You can just feel some sort of rivalry as well, which contributes to its, the, the, the whole experience. Let's hope for three points being held at home when we go with the second half.
Zvezda scored literally only some seconds into the second half. But it doesn't come because of handball. Yeah, go on, go on, man, go! Hit the post. Unbelievable! Goal given this time, equalizer for Zvesta. It's not the nicest thing to celebrate in front of the home ultras. It's rather provoking. So, there is the net, so the beer caps could not hit the player. Venezuelos just showed the perfect example of how to concede from an own corner. The ball wasn't out at the sideline apparently. There was a great run by the winger, and the shot was clinical as well. In of the post, 1-1. One, one. Back to Shaori. Great pass. Goya on the left wing. Look at that guys, 2-1, what a clinical header and did you see the whole stadium was bouncing, literally, I had goosebumps even on my face. It's 60th minute, scorer Sami Mai, our central defender number 3, excellent header man, come on. Dangerous. 
that the scoreboard is very tiny, so I can't see it. But we, it, we could be like 79th minute or something, and Sveza are pushing. We we can't keep conceding chances like this because uh, there will be a punishment in the end if we carry on like this. But perhaps a chance on the counter to make a two-goal advantage. chanting fuck you towards the opponent it's not an unusual thing but I still think it's very unnecessary we're leading anyway who knows how long though There's a flare on the pitch. Another one being taken off. We should stop this really. 90 minutes almost over. 20 seconds remaining now. It's gonna be tense still. Five additional minutes. Second minute of additional time. Zvezda free kick. Keeper comes out badly. can be dangerous now literally any time and they get a free kick from a very very incredibly advantageous position long throw in
an incredible game this was, guys, an incredible experience. Our team, Ferenc Farage, really showed what we're made of. Uh, we lost 4-1 last week and we could still bounce back. And a 2-1 win means three points, just like a larger win. And we are leading the group now with nine points. There was a crazy result in the other game. Trabzonspor won 4-0 against Monaco. So now both Monaco and Trabzonspor have six points and Zvezda had three points. Zvezda were pushing especially towards the end of the game. Credit to the players except the celebration after the equalizer but they got two goals. One of them was disallowed but they were great as a team in Belgrade and here in, in Budapest as well even though they were obviously much better at home. And also credit to the, the fans. I don't know whether there were some clashes between uh, the, the more fierce ultras, let's put it that way, after the game. But uh, I'm one of the peaceful supporters and uh, who came only for the experience. And it was a great experience. And I can only say credit to Svezda fans. But obviously, our support was second to none today. That's it for today, guys. I'm incredibly happy for this win. The, even though it's a really close call, this group, this should mean the, these nine points at least the third place of the Conference League for Ferenc Varos. I'm heading to a cracking German derby in a few hours, so I really won't have that much of sleep. So goodbye now. I was HFV. Join me on social media as well. And let's hit that 10,000 mark as soon as possible. See you next time on the channel. Bye.